In this video, I'll demonstrate how to find the center of mass of a pyramid. This is a picture of one of the famous Egyptian pyramids, which is essentially just a square right pyramid. That means the pyramid has a square base and the apex is directly above the center of the base. For this example, let's call the side length of the square base B and the height of the pyramid H. Notice that the pyramid is symmetric about its central axis, so we know the center of mass is somewhere along that line. The center of mass must also be closer to the base of the pyramid since it widens at the bottom, and our goal is to use calculus to figure out the exact location of that center of mass. So let's take a look at the integral form of the equation for the center of mass. In order to use this equation, we need to unpack what y dm is. And doing that requires us to slice the pyramid up into lots of little dms. There are several options for doing this, and the way we want to choose is to slice it into horizontal slabs. So why is that? Well, the reason is that with horizontal slabs, all of the mass in a given slab is at the same distance y away from the apex. So if you look again at the center of mass equation, all that we need to do is determine the mass dm of a slab at a distance y from the apex, replace dm with that expression, and we'll be ready to integrate. So the first th key thing to note is that the ratio of the total mass of the pyramid to the total volume of the pyramid is the same as the ratio of the mass of a slab to the volume of that slab. Rearranging that equation, we have this. Now the volume of the pyramid is equal to one third times the product of the area of the base and the height, or one third b squared times h. And what is dv? Well, that's the volume of a slab, which should be equal to the area of the slab, or s squared, multiplied by the height of the slab, which is dy. The last thing to notice is that the side length of a slab depends on y, or the distance the slab is away from the apex. If you compare the big pyramid with a smaller pyramid that has base length s, you can see that these are similar, so the ratios of base length to height should be the same for both. This means that you can substitute y over h times b for s, and then simplifying, you get this expression for dm. Finally, it's time to make a substitution back into the center of mass equation. All that is left to do is to simplify a bit, set the limits of integration, and do the integral. Since the slabs range from the apex of the pyramid, where y is equal to 0, uh, to the base, where y is equal to h, the limits of integration should be from 0 to h. So you can work out this integral, and you'll find that the result is that the center of mass is at 3 fourths h. Now remember, this is measuring the distance from the apex to the center of mass, which is here. Typically, the center of mass would be given as 1 fourth h from the base of the pyramid, and either way is perfectly fine. So that's the end of the derivation for the center of mass of the pyramid. If you're looking for a challenge, you could try doing this problem again, but this time measure y from the base of the pyramid. Of course, you should get the same result. You could also think about how universal this result is. What if the apex of the pyramid were not above the base? Or what if the base weren't a square? You should be able to use the derivation we just did to guide you through these questions.